part and then you can ho hover over it and it should pop up with change to dot sport or you can just change them manually manually and <coughs> we only have I uh, say divided with two because we don't have uh, we don't have an extra row and we have two so now we'll say dots here and yeah and change these strip change them to like two just by changing this one yeah and then for the last time uh, last thing we need to say dots and we only need this array to be too long because we only have two and here we need to say dots so now we have loaded the dots too and we need to say dots here too if you, if you actually saw it does change the first two to the dots and no we don't want that dots so right dots there so okay now we are done loading images now we can start playing around the, with them. We need to draw them one at a time, um, depending on what the time is. So now we need data a date and call it D for new date. And the the date object. Can I spell something wrong? And the date. What? Oh, date. And the date class is to so get the date and the time, and if you can see, get hours, get minutes, and everything like that. So now you can say, call it string, or actually not. Yeah, yeah, we'll say string hour, and make another string called min for minutes, and a string called sec for seconds then hour equals d dot get hours and just add so it thinks it's a string and we can just copy them to the next ones and say dot get minutes and for the last one get seconds so now if we just print them out or the uh, hours we can't see the thing and the hours we see now say eight nine and that's what the clock is to so that's good enough but um if the seconds is under um what do you call it, nine then we need to add a zero before so we're just going to say a uh, really easy actually if hour dot length is equal to zero no one and then hour equals zero plus hour so so if our we add uh, the hours um the time to the so if the time is eighteen or yeah hours eighteen hours um we will have the length would be two. So if it's one, then it means that the clock is like um, one in the morning or something like that. And then we need to add an um, a zero to it. I'm just going to uh, maybe that will confuse you. And we need to do the same thing for the minute and the second. So just we can just copy them um, for three times, or so we have three of them. What am I doing? Like this. So again, it does the same thing, but for the other ones. So if if we print out the seconds, and I'll just say oh, wait, but that'll be a waste of time. We can say um the first thing, take it. Um, we need to say, oh, I got maybe it's time now. Yeah, you can see two, and then we'll add, add a zero at the end, or at the start. So now we need to split them, the R, uh, the strings, into integers so we can easily get it. If we say, yeah, if we say, dig it for zero, 
sorry, because the digits to zero, it will draw a zero. If the digits to five, it will draw number five. So if you just split them up and saying and saying integer dot parse string and parse string it takes a string if you know the string is a number it parses it to it an integer so it becomes a number and then we don't want the whole number because that will confuse you can see error because the seconds is yeah much more than nine so we need to substring them. Just type after I will say substring zero to one. So now you can see the clock is eighteen hours, so it will say one. Then we need an integer called x and just zero. Then after the first one we will say plus equals just digits. And then we just say zero dot get with, so that it will, um, like you say in the x up here, we type x, and then next time it will add its own width, so it's just uh, um, drawing it after the first image. So we can copy this under and change the in substring zero to one and one to two. So now you can see it say eighteen. This progress. Um, yeah, so now we will say actually, yeah, so now we will say if seconds per sec uh -oh, integer, god damn it, it just crashed on me, didn't it? Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, it's back. Integer. And a parse string. Seconds. So now the seconds is. Now we get it in a number. So we can set percentage. Two, I think. Mm. Can't convert into boolean. I don't need to. Oh, it was zero. Equals equals. We need to check it, not apply the value. Then we need to draw we need to draw the image again and then we'll say dots dot and zero and null x and y. So else if it's not true then draw the other one. Now I can see every second it will flash between. I don't really know what this thing means, but I know what it does, but I can't ex really explain it. So just play around it and you'll know what it does. I know what it does because it's, it's really useful. So again we need to apply the the width that we just used. Just zero dot get width. So now we apply it again. Now we need, need the minutes. We need to describe them. And in here we say minutes, and here, and then we have the minutes, and the console is constantly giving us that value. We don't want that. And again, you're gonna to just cover cover this, just make some space there, like this, and we don't actually need to do anything. Now you can see it flashes in between and the clock stations, and then like down here. It's the same. For the last thing, we need to apply the seconds. So we just we have it says min or minus type sec. And we are actually done. So now we have an, a nice little clock. 
working just to fix the the um, the size and just say print and now we know it's how, how wide it is it's 194 screen so in the main we can say 194 and just play around with this value and so get it right yeah that's sort of nice and then I know it's 44 or something oh <laughs> it, it wasn't yeah. sound you maybe just play around with the number into the gator right almost 84 too big yeah 82 there now we've made a little digger tunnel clock not much but yeah it's fun but maybe we want to change the, the what do you want to say the image just open up paint drag the image inside and let's zoom a little in we just yeah, paint a little uh, my painting tool and you can say one and uh, oops that's zero zero I could actually draw zero one two three three four five six seven eight nine you of course need to do it a lot a lot better but to sort of get the idea that you can easily change the image because it just uses this one and, and the seven different images so that's easy enough I will to the description I will add um, the starting just the new project um, source code or actually so you can download it and I will add another download for these two images and a third download for the done version Done version with the compiled jar file and um, and the source code, the total source code. But yeah, that was it for today, or for now. I'll maybe make more tutorials later. But yeah, a little neat clock where I can easily change the texture and stuff like that. Yeah, goodbye.